All right, so now we want to give the game lives. So we want the ship that we're playing with to be able to be destroyed and then take away a life. And then we're going to work on making it respawn again and, uh, you know, talking about how we can make that into then multiple levels and things like that. So let's go ahead and look here. So first things first, um, I created a sprite called lives and I just did a simple um, dot to represent my life. And just like we did with player score, we're going to create an object and we're going to give that object a name. I just called it lives. We're not going to give it any kind of anything else. We're going to we're going to add uh, a couple events to this. We're going to add a create event and we're also going to add a draw event. Just like we did in the previous example. Now, this time, though, we're going to create um, or when this is created, we want to use the set lives and we're going to set the lives to five. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the draw and we want to draw lives, as you might imagine which is this little heart and the pencil that you can find down there as well. And the draw instance lives was different than the draw instance score. The draw instance score was using text. This is using a sprite. So we do get an option here to grab a sprite and I'm going to grab the sprite lives. And then we get the option of doing it as a row or a column. And then we get the option to put it in whatever position we want. So I'm going to do 200 on the X and I'm going to do 64 on the Y axis and that should kind of put it in a decent place. Now at this point we can go ahead and play it and see if it's on the screen and in the right place and if it's not we can fix that. And it's not so we forgot a couple steps here. First thing is we got to go back to our room and then what we got to do is we got to grab object lives we got to drop it on the board there so now it lives on there. Let's try it one more time. And there we go, we got our five lives up in the upper right, the left hand corner. Okay, so now that we got our lives on there, now we need to take them away. So what will happen is that we're going to go to this rocket ship here that we built. And under the destroy instance, just as we did with the um, uh, adding score, now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to take away lives. So what we're going to do here is we're going to um, add a little... Um, Piece here we're gonna go up I think I have it up here here we go we're going to set the score set lives we're gonna set lives so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a negative one so we're gonna subtract one life and right now it says set lives to negative one remember that's um, if we don't do relative it'll do that and if I do relative it'll add negative one to lives so this could be used both ways. We're using it to subtract a life. You could use it to gain a life. So if something came through the, the map and it gave you an extra life, this is how you could get that. All right, there we go. So we've got that set up. Let's go ahead. Oh, one last thing we forgot to do. Um, this will not work unless we pass it into the object lives because that's where the actual score machine work lives is that's yeah, a good way to think of it anyway and so we have to take this negative one and send it to there so that it knows to count it that way all right let's go ahead and hit play and this time i'm gonna let the ship just or let the ship get destroyed and we're gonna see if the lives go away And indeed it did. There it goes. We lost a life from that little action. So we're, we're again, we're getting closer and closer to have a fully working video game.